What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Sunday, September 29th, 2024. Going on an emergency service call in Baldwin. Baldwin's on the south shore of Nassau County, on Long Island, in the great state of New York. We have an existing residential client that's got no heat. Now, it's 62 degrees here. Why you need heat in September? They also got an indirect water heater, so maybe it has something to do with that. It's my first service call back from my week off. I had went to Poland with uh, a group of guys on a religious experience. So details of my trip on the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. Let's go see what's going on with this service call and with this boiler. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Let me get your thoughts and feedback in the comment section down below at the conclusion of the video. Let's get going. Hi, this is Mike from the Pipe Doctor. I'm at your front door. Thank you. How are you, sir? Seven C. Why is this pump running continuously? The majority put on the heater, but you put it on cool. Put a little bit on cool. You think that will mess it up? No. But that's the most that's not for cool. That's the most that's for heat. But yep. No, it shouldn't be. I figure out what's going on with this pump right now. Pump don't sound too healthy. Running. Sounds like this circus kaput. Damn. Circulate a shot. What's that? What did you move on one day? Yeah, I changed one for the zones, uh, what, about a year ago? Uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. So now the one for the tank is dead. It's making all the noise, and, this, and the condensate tube pump is also uh, making crazy noise. <laughs> if you gotta worry about courts, you can't afford it. <laughs> um, I don't know about the con. I don't think I have the condensate pump in the truck. I should have the circuit. Thank you. 
abnormal size. Abnormal size. Right out casket. Alright. This should drop easily. Yeah. I need a help with something Who, me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And the fan came on and we on I'm able to take over the fan. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't understand the question. The fan and the thermostat is on. It's blowing. The fan is on right now. Okay. For like three months. Can you take it off your thermostat? Turn the, turn the thermostat fan to auto. It's on auto. We're not coming off. And the, and, and the fan is running? Still, yeah. Okay. So you got to call the office and schedule a call for that. Hey, that's not an emergency I'm going to handle today. I'm sorry. All right. All right. So I got the new circulator mounted. I'm going to tighten up all of the bolts, the flange bolts, slowly. And it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as they're nice and snug and tight. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. And let's go on this side. Oh, see, wrong way. <laughs> lefty loosey, righty tidy. Um, after I'm done tightening, tighten this up, I have to reposition the orientation of the circulator head, which is this body right here, from the actual housing or the actual casting of the circulator itself uh it's in the manual read it ladies and gentlemen it'll save yourself a potential recall for a damaged circulator or a failed circulator in the future all right i invested in this one eighth of an inch long shafted allen key with a t-handle on it and that allows me to easily reposition the head by loosening up and removing the screws. See, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Let me uh, use both hands here. All right, I'm gonna pull all the screws out. I'm gonna wait before opening up those valves to check for leaks until after I reposition the head. And that's because water is going to be flowing through the body itself. Did I uh, do that one already? Nope, there it is. Okay. Now, very important. There's two ways of doing this. You can take the whole body out and make sure the gasket is back into place or you can go like this and reposition it that way. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, you can see the gasket is perfect. Sometimes it'll jump at you, move around. Good. Back into place. Let's put the screws back in and do the electric. Okay. Let's hope we got no leaks. So far, so good. Good. All right. 
take out that small Phillips screw and hook up our wiring. All right, I got my two Wago wire connectors there. And let's put our, oh no, lose the screw. Whew. Good save. And where is it? There it is. Uh, let's get that screw tightened back up in there. It's flashing like that because water's flowing through it. Okay. We're on. We're circulating. Excellent. Beautiful. All right, so in 1223, looks like Daniel replaced the water pressure sensor on 4124. It looks like Peter and I replaced that circulator for one of the zones. Well, there's two more left primary loop circ and that's probably the ground floor zone we're heating up 122 beautiful Ladies and gentlemen, service call is complete. Replace that indirect water heater circulator. There are some out there that would replace just the head. I believe, and our company policy is, we're not gonna you know, change a part of a part. We're gonna replace the entire circulator. You know, if it's like a BG100, for example, yes, you could probably repair that. Um, a lot of cases when we see a circulator like a, a B&G that requires, you know, lubrication with oil, chances are it's never getting done and small investment to replace the entire circulator, but I'm not saying I have never replaced an impeller coupling on a B&G 100 because I have, but far and few in between because it is more cost effective to replace the entire circulator on a residential system like one you just saw, especially when you have isolation circulate, uh, circulator isolation flanges before and after the circ. 
Let me get your thoughts and feedback in the comments section down below. I did address the condensate pump with the homeowner. I did pour some water into the reservoir of the condensate pump. It's very slow to pump it away. And the homeowner is saying it's been like that for a quite, you know, forever, he said, which is not true because last time I was here in April, when I replaced that zone circulator, it was not making any noise. I checked my notes and I make notes of that in House Call Pro or CRM. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Tomorrow on Monday, we have, we have a very epic, epic job. Daniel, Peter, and I, we're, well, I guess I'll have to let you, <laughs> I guess I'll have to let you be in suspense until tomorrow evening's video. It's great to be back, guys. It was nice, a nice week that I spent uh, in Poland, Slovakia, and Hungary. It was a nice trip, very, very nice trip. Went with a, a group of guys from uh, L.A. and also from New York. It was nice. It was a great experience. Details on the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel. Catch you in the next one. Be well. God bless. Stay safe.